Hey, welcome to Dr. Pat TV. Uh, in this section here, we're just going to do a little review of some of the material that we covered in Math 140. So we'll be looking at some uh, review of lines, that equation of a line, slope of that thing, and then also some economic relationships, profit, revenue, supply, demand, those kind of things that you'll actually see in your other classes. Because we do want to make this Math 148 class a class that you never have to ask the question, why do I need this? All right, to start this off, let's look at uh, Staruli's Cafe. We've got the uh, basically the average cost and average revenue that they have throughout each of their days. The uh, cafe is currently open for 15 hours, and the owners are thinking of opening in an extra hour. And so we, as the consultant, there have asked us to analyze this and give them a recommendation. And so what we're looking at is the only information we have is from the graph. So we're not using any other information that we, we may be able to get from a business. So just from this graph of the revenue and cost, what would be your recommendation? Do we open a 16th hour or not? And so to answer this question, one of the things that we'll be using is slopes. Slopes can analyze this. And so I'll just kind of uh, give you an example here. At uh, around the sixth hour here, I've got this orange line here representing the slope. And this orange line right now here at the sixth hour is steeper than the line, the cost line here. And so that would be indicating to us that revenue is going up faster than the cost. And that's a good thing. To have our revenue, that means we're, we're bringing in that hour, we're bringing in more revenue than cost. So for the sixth hour, that's a good time for us because we do have more revenue coming in than cost. However, if we go reaching over here to the like the, around the 11th, the 11 and a half hour, we're kind of seeing the situation where the slopes of these two lines, of the orange line and of the cost line here, Revenue and cost are basically going up the same amount. So in that hour, we're bringing in as much money as we're paying out. So that would be a time basically of um, uh, of analysis for later on in this uh, in this uh, course. We'll be analyzing this at another time. But that's a, a, a key important time for us because right then and there is an indicator to us that we're basically reaching the maximum profit possible the maximum distance between the two graphs occurs at this time when the slopes are the same. And then I've got a slope here around the 14th hour and you will notice that for the 14th hour the slope of this orange line here is actually less steep, it's a less value than it is for the cost. That's indicating to us that our revenue, we're not bringing in as much revenue as we are cost. So what I would recommend is not to open up an extra hour because the this trend of the revenue graph, that trend there, is basically steep at the beginning of it and then it's starting to level off and then it's getting less steep. The slope on the revenue graph is less than the slope on the cost graph and that's meaning we're not bringing in as much revenue as we are cost. And so that would be an example here of how we could use this whole idea of slope, rate of change, in order to make actual business decisions. Okay, another little example to just kind of get this rate of change idea. We're going to use the words rate of change basically uh, interchangeable with slope. And so we're using that uh, to kind of analyze this. And what I've got here is I've got a little, uh, little graph here from, um, I get these from uh, USA Today. And so in the statement there, um, they made the statement that the number of gift giving went down 4.7%. So what we're looking at here is the average number of presents that holiday shoppers say they'll buy for people, or they'll buy. And so then uh, we've got it throughout the years from 2007 to 2010. And then we were seeing the statement that gift giving or buying in that sense went down 4.7 uh, presents. And so I'm looking at this graph, I'm trying to figure out 4.7, where did they come up with 4.7? And the only way that I can see that is the difference between 21.5 here in year 2008 and the 16.8 in year 2010. So what I'm seeing in this statement is somebody has taken the difference between the 21.5 and the 16.8 and they're coming up with this statement that 
gift giving went down 4.7 presents. But I have to say that that's kind of misleading because not only, I mean, true, it did go down 4.7 between these two years. But naturally, one of the things that we do mentally is that we take this 4.7 going down and we kind of interpret it as, oh, that must be going down per year. And so there was no time frame given to us, so we naturally assume it's kind of like per year, just like when we're driving along miles per hour, we've got this rate of change and it's per hour. Even though I might have been on a road trip for, for six hours, we always convert it into per hour per unit kind of thing. And so we naturally could turn this 4.7 into a rate of change per year. And so that's kind of what's misleading in a way, is that we should have indicated that this was going down 4.7 presents per two-year period. But that wasn't stated, so that's why it's somewhat misleading. So what we'd have to do is we'd have to make our slope. We'd have to calculate our rates of change. And you may recall from before, rates of change, uh, change in output over the change of input. And that's where you get rates of changes because we're all talking about change. And then also you've got this uh, uh, delta y over here on the far right there on top. So delta, that little triangle, uh, indicates for us change. And then that's over delta x. And so that's your mathematical equivalent of slope. Okay. And so then, yeah, there we go. So uh, delta means the change f uh, for math geeks. Basically, it's really for, gr it's coming from the Greek, the Greek uh, delta. Okay, so then basically what I've got to do for this example here is I've got to uh, calculate the slope. And so I did. I took the uh, information from 2008 and the information from 2010. I did uh, the change of the y values on top. That's the change in the number of presents. And then uh, the change in time on the bottom. And so then I calculated that. It's a negative value. And that's good. That's good that we have a negative here is because our presence are going down so people are buying less and so that's a decrease and decrease uh, situations are indicated by a negative slope so then what I have here in this calculation is a negative 2.35 and so what that meaning is is that our gift giving is going down at a rate of 2.35 gifts per year over the past two years so I have a rate of change that's in terms of per year but in, to be really honest and upfront, I also throw in the over the past two years just to give people that uh, the information for them to know um, over what context. You know, got to give that context. Otherwise, slopes can be uh, misleading, um, and they can people can't take advantage of these, especially when we're talking about business and people wanting your money. Okay, so this is the first part of the review section. Thanks, and I'll continue on in a little bit with part two.